The ancient religion of voodoo is mysterious, exciting, and intriguing. Voodoo originated in Western Africa, where it's still practiced to this day. Through the Atlantic slave trade, voodoo spread to the Western Hemisphere and is heavily practiced in the Caribbeans and North and South America. There are several other names that voodoo is called. In Cuba it's called Santeria, in Jamaica it's called Obie, and in parts of the United States it's called Hoodoo. All of these have differences, yet they have a lot of similarities. They all originated from West Africa in the Fon and Congo kingdoms. Today this area is Ghana, Togo, and Benin. Voodoo has existed for thousands of years, long before all the religions that are known today, like Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, etc. From generation to generation, voodoo has been passed down orally, and not too much official documentation has been made on the subject. Different tribes and regions all put their own spin to voodoo, but the foundation and concepts remain the same. As voodoo moved to the Western Hemisphere, the religion adopted some Christian components, also some pieces from Native American spirituality. That's the thing about voodoo. The practice is very adaptable and fluid, and that's one of the reasons it was able to stand the test of time. During the slave trade, Africans had to disguise the art of voodoo in order to keep practicing, so they started naming their African spirits after Christian saints. A lot of successful slave uprisings started off with voodoo ceremonies. The most famous slave rebellion was the Haitian Revolution in 1791. From that uprising, Haiti became the first and only slave country to fight for their independence and win. From that victory, Haiti liberated itself from the French colonial rule. Now today, voodoo is the official religion of Haiti. Unfortunately, through high taxes and debt, trade embargoes, government infiltrations, and the whole planet turning their back on Haiti, the rich island of Haiti has been suffering ever since that triumph. Anyway, back to voodoo. Voodoo is a serious spiritual discipline. This art is not something to be played with. You can't be running around flirting with this craft without having full knowledge of what you are dealing with. With that being said, voodoo is about summoning the spirits. You have the living spirits, the spirits of the dead, and the ancestors. Then you have the lowers. The lowers are the spirits that communicate with the Most High and the people to get things done. The Most High, the Creator, respectably named Bonjour, is too big and powerful to associate with man's petty problems and affairs. That's why to get things done you have to work with the lowers. Each lower has a different personality and brings different things to the table. So when you have an issue, Certain lowers will be called to deal with the situation. There are many lowers and each belong to a certain family. There are many families of lowers, but there are three major families that a lot of powerful lowers belong to. The three families are the Reda, the Petra, and the Gede. The Reda lowers are elder, wise, and more patient lowers. These lowers are ones that originated in Africa before the Haitians were captured into slavery. The lowers from this family are enlightened and give spiritual guidance. The Petro family of lowers are fierce, hot-tempered, and have a warrior spirit. These lowers originated in Haiti and emerged out of the anguish and pain of the slave trade. These lowers can assist you in battle and conflicts. The Gede family is made up of spirits of the dead. Most of these spirits are not lowers, but still could perform certain tasks. The members of the spiritual family like to party, they could be rude, and they display high sexual behavior. Voodoo rituals and ceremonies are led by a hangan, which is a voodoo priest, or a mambo, which is a voodoo priestess. Then you have those who serve the lowers with both hands, who are the boka, which is a voodoo sorcerer, then you have the Kaplata, which is a voodoo witch. These two use voodoo for dark magic. 
this video is just a brief description of what Voodoo is about. More videos will be coming soon going into detail about this powerful spiritual discipline. Don't forget to check out my website SupremeMoonBeam.com and check out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this content, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Supreme Moonbeam. Peace.